Education on Six taking on higher education, and today we're heading to one of South Florida's largest colleges with thousands of successful alumni. Nova Southeastern University has hundreds of different programs for kids and everyone to study, ranging from business to medicine. And the man, the myth, Education on Six reporter Ari Odds are live from their campus there in Davie with details on their newest school. Ari? Well, Keith, let's start off with the fact that I bet you guys can figure out what the mascot is here at Nova Southeast. What is it, guys? Shark. 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 That's right. I'm, and I'm fearlessly swimming with a school of sharks right now. But we're going to talk about something serious now because Nova just opened its first allopathic medical school starting right up. And Dr. Johannes Fieweg has the honor of being the first dean of a brand new allopathic medical school. That's quite an honor, isn't it? I think so. I think so. This is a great day for Nova Southeastern and also for our health professions division to open up the eighth college in HBD that's focusing on the MD degree. So what we are doing is we are awarding the doctor of medicine degree to our students and uh, we are blessed to say that we are opening up our school by the end of the month. And there's already uh, some medical schools in the state of Florida. You've had the University of Florida has been there a long time and the University of Miami and recently you have FAU and FIU. Now you guys are joining. Is there a demand for, for doctors? doctors to be produced? I suppose there always is. Yeah, that was the whole objective, that we currently have a healthcare crisis in our nation with an aging population, lots of more folks getting older and need more medical care, and we don't have enough doctors. So I think this is what this is about, getting more highly qualified, specialized doctors in place and retain them here in the state of Florida. So when does it actually start? When do students actually start taking classes in Nova Southeastern's new MD school? Yeah, it's like a whirlwind, like Hurricane Irma right now. No, so I tell you that. <laughs> so we just got accreditation just a couple of days ago, and I informed Dr. Hanbury about that. So we were all very ecstatic about this. So the way the timeline how it works is that we are going through a centralized process called AMCAS, where all the MD applications are processed, and uh, of course students can choose us as their first choice, and we will definitely consider them. So we expect about 4,000 applications. We interview 350 students for 50 slots. <laughs> 4,000. <laughs> for 50 so the odds aren't that great hey Razor's not getting in I can tell you that his, his bedside manner leaves a lot to be desired but we're gonna have much more on what's going on here at Nova Southeastern including some groundbreaking research they're doing here regarding the opioid crisis that's some serious stuff but for now hey let's hear it sharks yeah stay with us we'll be right back all right